Teresa. Ethan. Just drove Teresa here for her appointment. The specialist said you wanted to do some x-rays or something to make sure her recovery was permanent. Yes, we will do that as soon as there's an opening in the x-ray room. How's Whitney's baby doing this morning, Dr. Russell? Well, he made it through the night, but he's not out of the woods yet. Oh. I'm sorry. He looks like a fighter, though, you know? That he is. Spoken like a true grandmother. He'll be fine. He'll pull through. Um, Ethan, can you do me a big favor? Can you just uh, check to see if my name's on the x-ray schedule? Sure. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. I didn't hear from Whitney last night, you know, so I... I don't know if she told Chad the truth. I know, I don't have any idea. I, I went to see her this morning, but she was still sleeping. I didn't want to wake her up to ask her. Yeah. You know, as... Uh, as much as I want her to tell the truth, I'm, I'm worried for her, you know. I mean, what if Chad finding out that he's the baby's father sent him right over the edge? I, I'd like to go check on Whitney. Yeah, I'll, I'll come with you. Hey. Hi. Uh, do you think that we have time to check on Whitney before the x-ray room's available? Yeah, yeah, I think there's time. The nurse said it would take a while. And uh, she'll come and get you when it's time. Okay. Would you mind if Dr. Ross and I visit her alone? No, no, not at all. It's fine. I have a bunch of calls to return anyway. It's fine. Thanks. I'll see you later. Okay. Still no word from Fox. He should have found Catherine, Gwen, and the baby by now if he was on track. Why is he not calling me?